ho, 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 we can. Dude. I'm gonna make a thing. Me. Holy crap. Please. Me. Dude. Nice Ooh, shot. Ooh, headshot. First try. Rusty Claymore. <laughs> <laughs> Plus six. Yo. <laughs> Yo. What the heck? And we can do it one-handed? What the heck? What's going on guys? My name is Blue Soul and welcome back to The Legend of Zelda Tears of the Kingdom Part 2. In the last episode, we officially started the game, had an absolute amazing opening to the game. Really, really loved the opening to the game. And so now we've made our way here to the Sky Islands. And uh, last we left off, we made our way here to this uh, huge structure in which supposedly Princess Zelda is inside. But we can't open this door because it seems that the new arm we got from Raru, who is a Zonai, who we met with in the last episode, uh, has told us that our arm lacks the sufficient power to open this door. And so now, looks like we'll be uh, tackling this game's version of the shrines, and uh, which is that thing right there. That sort of egg-shaped rock with the green spiral energy coming out of it. And so that's good to know. We have uh, this game's variant of the shrines. Uh, so hoping that they're a little are a lot more different from last game i don't i kind of don't want like a repeat of our uh, last game shrines and so i'm guessing they will be yeah hopefully they have like some kind of interesting mini game or something to do with them but i'm just rambling at this point but uh yeah we left off there talking with raro and so let's go ahead and tackle these shrines and so i'm guessing that maybe this is basically the great plateau and so this might be that same case where we have to do four shrines so let's go ahead and make our way to this shrine right here Ouch. All right, so we've got some more soldier constructs here. Oh, there's an arrow here. Got plenty of arrows. I'm guessing we're about to find a bow. Oh, that guy has a bow, I think. Right? Maybe. Let's try and sneak up on him. <laughs> this guy ain't gonna know what hit him. What? Excuse me? What? I just stood up. All right, well, I mean, we took him out, but weird. Old wooden bow. Wooden bow from the olden days. It's built for hunting, but it's not very powerful. That's all right. At least we have a bow. So, let's see. Nice, we got the gyro aiming. Actually, really like the gyro aiming for the Switch. Especially in Breath of the Wild, it helped out a lot. I've tried just regular stick aiming, and it, it's not good. Trust me, don't want to see my shots. All right, we're nearing this shrine. We've got... Whoa, okay. Interesting. So, making an educated guess here, this might be a way we can travel across islands. Yeah, there wouldn't be this here just for no reason. But let's go ahead and uh, see what the shrine is. And there's still that dragon out there. Now that we have a closer look, I think it might be Nadra. It's got the green horns, or the green spikes, whatever you want to call them. We'll see in due time, though, what that dragon is. Oh, okay. This, uh... Building is a little destroyed. We go. We got mushrooms. <laughs> Glad to see these are back. Seems like a lot of items will be returning from Breath of the Wild. So yeah, this is uh, this is basically Tears of the Kingdoms, uh, Great Plateau, and this place is called the Garden of Time. So very, very reminiscent of the Great Plateau. Seeing a lot of parallels already. These constructs are like our. Bokoblins from uh, the last game. I don't want to compare this game too much to the Breath of the Wild. I'm already annoying myself by doing that. Uku? Uku? Uku Shrine? Alright. Found Uku Shrine. Let's see what happens when we activate one of these. Got that same blue Shiga energy. Oh, whoa, cool. Okay. So maybe this is like the shrines from last game. Oh, interesting. I like this loading screen. Shows us the map. And some tips and tricks. All right, cool. Dude, this is cool. Let's go, my boy. So you've made it here. This is a shrine of light. Long ago, I filled these places with light that purges evil. I believe this light will restore an ability your right arm has lost. 
Mm-hmm. Now then, extend your hand. Ultra hand, okay. Grab and move objects, rotate them, and stick them to other objects. All right, so this is how we get our abilities. And it looks like there's there's six abilities, okay. It's way more than the Sheikah Slate from last time. Mm. This is the ultra hand ability. It allows you to move objects freely and attach them to other objects. With it, you will be able to build a great number of things. Really, anything you can imagine. Mm. Use ultra hand and receive the blessing from the shrine. Okay, all right, so we got our first ability. Activate him with L, the ability to create. And so this is pretty much the whole theme of behind, uh, or one of the themes behind Tears of the Kingdom. Using your imagination to create many, many things. And we saw that in uh, one of the trailers, Link was freaking riding a car. <laughs> all right, so we got a gap here. I'm gonna activate this. Haha, <laughs> yeah, we're using our arm now. We'll grab this and move it. Place a little bridge. Perfect. Always love the physics from Breath of the Wild. I'm so glad to see see them make them return here. So we got two pieces here. Oh, can we stick them together? Can I? Oh yeah, we can. Oh, I love that. All right, let's uh flatten these two pieces out. Let's put you right there, and then get you. So you come here. How do I? Oh, that's the bow. Grab you. Can I rotate? Oh, okay, I see. So we do that, and then... How do we rotate? Oh, now we use the D-pad, okay. And it's selections, okay. Oh, this is actually really cool. Okay, so we move that there, and then attach. Oh, cool, okay. I remember seeing this adhesive stuff. I thought this would be some material we collect, but it just appears from our arm. Okay. Oh, I'm already loving this ability. Nice! This is so cool! Whoa! Look at the ceiling! Oh man, I actually I'm taking a listen to this now. The music for these shrines. Really, really liking it. Okay, so in a way, these are similar to last game shrines, but honestly, they are similar, but they feel incredibly different. They're so much more open. I'm loving this, man. Really, really liking this. Okay, so we got chains here and a ball. Okay, this is the ball and chain. And we've got wooden board. So that chain is connected to that. So maybe we can ride the chain on this little zipline thing. Let's give it a shot. Let's give it a shot. Use our minds. Like they said, let's use our imagination, man. Let's go on and flip it this way. Oh, this is a little confusing. Okay, there we go. Can we hook it on to that? Yeah, okay, there we go. Hook it on there. Can I grab on? And, uh, hold on, please. Please. Come back. Don't go yet. So, let's see. Uh, maybe... Hold on. Let's get, get, get you. Yeah, come here. Let's put you there. Let's try can't connect it with that, can we? Nah. Can we dismantle objects? I don't think we can. We have this board, though. Oh, wait, wait, wait. We can maybe attach it to the underside, right? So let's flip like that. Put you down here. Put it there. And then, uh... Use this. Dude! This is incredible! Oh my god, this is awesome! Okay, so let's see. I was trying to fit it real quick. Let me just move you this way. And now we put it on the rail. Perfect. Now we hop on. Yes! Dude, that's genius. Incredibly intuitive. Wow. The potential for the puzzles. Can you guys imagine? Are you imagining right now? Because I'm freaking imagining. Okay. This must be the end. 
I did see... I do see some other stuff over there. So maybe the shrine isn't completely done? Let's see. Oh no, we have a Zonai statue right there. You have done well to reach this place. We offer this light that will cleanse you of evil. Wow, okay, literally ball of light. So it's like our spirit orbs. Nice, okay. All oh, right, yeah, I was just about to mention that. Let's just wait a little bit. A light of blessing, a crystal that glows with a light that purges ancient evil and purifies with its radiance. May the light of blessing grant you the strength you seek. Okay. So yeah, I was just going to mention, uh, I think I just now put two and two together finally. Oh wait, are we already done? I guess I did miss out on uh, some of that stuff up there in the shrine. But I guess while we're loading, I'll mention uh, that that's probably why our arm is so weak. It's because uh, it's contaminated. Oh. You did very well getting through that shrine, and you've restored an ability. This is wonderful. If you visit and complete two more shrines, you should be able to open the door to the Temple of Time. Hmm. You may want to mark the shrines in the distance with pins. Then you'll never lose the track of where they are. The Pura Pad offers you a very useful scope. It's quite handy. Alright, so we got the scope with the Pura Pad still. Just like the Sheikah Slate. But, uh, yeah, so I guess that's why the arm is weak right now, is because our arm is contaminated with the malice still. And we just saw that light purge some of the evil from it. So let's go ahead and scope in. <laughs> nice. Still got those uh, pins we can use. So we got one shrine there. And I did see another one in the snow area. Yeah, up there. Way out there. Okay. okay we're about to be exploring the heck out of this place, man. All right. Another thing I want to know is how did Zelda contact Raru? How did they even meet? Because, I mean, he mentioned that she told him about us. It's interesting. All right, so we've got plenty of boards and stuff here. This is so cool, man. This is actually amazing. Wait, 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 wait. Hold on. Let me, let me see. We have Ultra Hand now. Can I do some science here? Oh, 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 oh we can. Dude, I'm gonna make a thing. Oh, never mind. Okay, I guess you can't attach a weapon on a weapon. It might have to be like a material. Oh, right, here we go, here we go. So we got, let me try, yeah, hold, let's hold one. Let's drop this on the ground here. Oh, let's go, yeah, let's go ahead and drop that. And then uh, maybe one of our sticks, yeah, let's drop the stick. So let's see, can we... Oh yeah, this is like a perfect fit. Let's go ahead and uh, switch the direction of it uh, this way, and then we attach it there. Oh my god! Right? Nope. What? Huh? Maybe not. Maybe not. Well, we'll, we'll see later. We'll see later. I don't want to waste too much time on this. Let's go ahead and build a bridge, though. Let's get across this area. All right. So yeah, it just hit me. You know, working on these, uh, <laughs> attaching everything. Even right now, I'm like trying out so many things i can already tell this is gonna be a really long series guys i hope you're uh strapped in oh is that raru oh yeah it is okay let's go ahead and uh safely climb down actually there might be a way yeah there's a way here so yeah this uh this is one of my worries that i had with uh playing an open world game for the first time on youtube is oh uh okay we're good is the editing style it's gonna be because you know i'm gonna be running around a lot and like i said i want to do as much as i can in this game i i will do everything i can so it's gonna be a lot it's gonna be a lot but i'm i'm up for it i'm up for it for sure and it's a perfect time for this game to come out summertime college is out for me right now so literally perfect 
I can spend all my time working on this series. But let's go ahead and see what uh, Raru has to say. Oh. I see that they're still at work, even now. We originally created the constructs to assist in our endeavors. All of us were fond of them. I never imagined they would continue to carry out their assigned tasks to this day. Hmm. The fact that their labor no longer serves any purpose, yet they perform, yet they perform it still, it is disquieting to me. Oh, well, there's a sale here. Oh, yo. Is this, uh, oh, this is a whole piece. Okay. Interesting. So maybe, I'm, <laughs> I don't know why my first thought was flying in the sky, but clearly it's way too heavy for that. Probably have to build uh, or put it on some water. Got crates here. Can I drop this on it? Oh yeah, we can. There we go. Got some arrows inside. So, man, there's just so much we can... There's so many things now. This is actually incredible. Even just this one ability. The ability to fuse and craft basically so many things is incredible so we can uh what's the axe here stone axe a new type of weapon uh? why does this have a thing to it the heck you guys you guys have seen that too right that's definitely something unique oh we can drop it from here that's useful oh that's really useful and we can sort nice yeah, let's go ahead and sort our weapons i forget we always have <laughs> i forget we have the decay master sword <laughs> It's not really much use right now, but just go ahead and keep it there. But so this thing is glowing. Can I add? Uh, can I now add the horn to it? Let's go and try. Let's drop you there. Pick you up. Attach maybe. Nah. Okay. So maybe we can't fuse weapons and stuff together right now. Correct. Let's bring you over here. I'm noticing a few pickups in frame rate. That's all right. Let's go and place you down there. Oh. Okay. And then this one. Nice. God, I love how seamless that is. It easily connects. All right, so this should definitely be long enough to uh, cross that bridge. So yeah, frames are dropping a little bit, but. This is happening because the ability is active. All these particle particle effects are going on. Uh oh, what the heck is what the heck is this? Grab. Whoa. Okay. <laughs> this thing just floats. Cool. We can uh slot this just yeah. Perfect! Just snug it right here. There we go. Let's see what's uh on this little island. Oh, I see a chest. Some amber. All right. This was from last game, and it looks a little different. Does it have some other description? Uh, I don't think so. But yeah, I uh, in the last episode we woke up in one of the islands, which is up above. I don't know which one. I think it's that one right up there. But uh, we got this uh, tunic that we're wearing right now from uh, one of the chests in there, the archaic legwear. But I think I might have missed one other chest. I swear I I would have seen it. But I guess I missed the top, the top clothing for the archaic set. But I hope I really didn't. But I, I I'm kind of thinking I did. Got another steward here. Oh, is he hunting? Shh, quiet. I'm engaged in hunting. I already know about hunting. I do not remember seeing you here before. That would explain your inability to be silent. <laughs> All right, so we got another bow. Uh, let's go ahead and hunt too. Try and practice our aim. Oh, that has a lot more drop. Okay. Boom. Miss. Uh, got some barrels here. Oh, he's coming back. What kind of animal are you? What? How did I miss that? Come on. Miss. Holy crap! Please. Miss. Dude. Nice Ooh, shot. Ooh, headshot. First try. All right. So where was that? Uh. Okay. So yeah, that one pin is over here. So we're heading in the right general direction. Just keep on moving. We got Raru here. Yeah, Raru is basically like uh, the king from last game on the Great Plateau. There's so many nice parallels from uh, last game. I'm really liking it. It's still, it's, it's similar, but so unique. Got some more constructs there, and that looks like, oh, what the heck? Oh, uh, looks like a purple chest. Okay, maybe we have to kill all the enemies there. Let's go ahead and uh, 
Go ahead and give it a try. Oh my god, I'm thinking I have the paraglider. Dude, I gotta stop doing that. Go and deal with you guys. What's up? Back up. Yeet. Nice. Still got it, baby. Oh! Alright. Oh, what the heck? Oh. Got a guy in a watchtower up there. Get a headshot. Nice! Okay, one shot with an arrow takes him out. Oh, that music. Nice. Alright, let's go ahead and see what's in this chest. Alright, come on. Do something good. Opal, alright. Valuable ore that gives off a mesmerizing iridescence similar to the inside of a seashell. Contains the power of water. Alright, so these contain the same description from last game. And one thing that I always thought of was that you could use these gems and stones to craft and, you know, enhance your weapons. And so maybe, with the new fuse stuff... Who the heck is that? Let's go see. But yeah, with the new uh, fuse ability... We might be able to make use of that description. You know, like that says power of water. Maybe, you know, we can make our sword shoot water. Do a little water bending. Who knows? I need to reach my friend. Oh, it's a core hog. <laughs> it's so adorable. Hey, you all right, little guy? This is awful. Where's my friend? Huh? You can see me? I'm a core hog, One of the children of the forest. You don't remember me? What the heck? I was traveling with my friend, yeah. but we got separated. Why do you have such a large backpack? My friend is sending up a smoke signal. I can't wait to catch up. Yeah. I'm so tired though, I can't move. <laughs> Dude, this guy is adorable. He's got such a massive backpack. Alright, so we got some more of the, uh, the chain action here going on. So yeah, we see that smoke signal. And another Korok with a huge backpack. What the heck are the Koroks doing here? And they're like, they're all geared up, ready for traversing. Alright, so we've got the shrine there. Uh, okay, it looks like we can come back right around. Alright, so let's go ahead and see what uh, this Korok over here wants. And then... Let me go ahead and twist you. Uh, what? <laughs> it's kind of trippy. There we go, that should work. Yeah, there we go. We're we'll going to climb on. There we go. Nice! <laughs> I love this fuse ability. Or the Ultra Hand, I should say. Nice. All right. See what this uh, Korok here wants. How you doing, little guy? Oh. I'm waiting here for my best friend. My friend is over that way. I wonder what happened. Oh, I thought... Okay. Well, <laughs> friend's having a little bit of a hard time. Dude, this is crazy, man. <laughs> I'm already like 30 minutes in. And I'm, I feel like I'm doing so much. Wow. This... This is truly... This is truly incredible, man. I I can't express how much fun I'm having already. Just messing around with this ability on just even the few segments of the, the Garden of Time. The Garden of Time, right? I, I, I'm pretty sure it's called Garden of Time. We've only been on just like a few of these segments of this... Uh, of the multiple pieces of the islands. And already, we're doing so much. Uh... <laughs> Don't worry guys, just just give it some time. We're, we're about to go zooming. Any day now. We got another stone axe. I definitely want this. Oh, this guy has a bigger wooden stick. Let's go and grab this. Thick stick. <laughs> Thick. This is one thing that I hope uh, the Zelda team tried their best to, you know, uh, fix. Or at least find a way around it is the weapon durability system. Now, I personally... I actually really, really liked the uh, durability system in the last game, but I did feel, I did feel that some of the weapons did break pretty easily for no reason. So hopefully, you know, some, most weapons have increased durability. And honestly, I think they might have fixed it with uh, this new fuse ability, because like, the options are limitless with this new ability. You know, creating, you can literally create whole new weapons. And I'm really excited to see when we get this fuse ability. And which I think we might be able to, we might be getting them from one of these two shrines that we have left. We just got, let's see, a stone two-handed axe. And this one is also highlighted. I still don't know what that means. Hopefully we'll find out in the future. We'll see. Let's see, let's go ahead and, I turned the HUD on. Just wanted to see what it would look like. And it's pretty similar to Breath of the Wild. 
So I'll just go ahead and uh, turn it back off. Oh, it actually shows coordinates, right? Yeah, it does. Okay, interesting. Cool, all right. So yeah, basically the same as Breath of the Wild's uh, UI, or HUD, I should say. But I'm just going to go ahead and turn it off. I really, really prefer the no HUD. Really, really like it. Let's go ahead and get a move on. One thing I also hope is uh, I am recording this uh, episode 2, literally right after I uh, finished off part 1. And uh, one thing I am hoping for is some kind of title theme or title screen, whatever you call it, from, you know, all the previous Zelda games that we've seen. All the previous ones have had such epic openings. And uh, Breath of the Wild kind of lacked that in, the, in that department. And so I'm hoping uh, we'll, we'll have that in this game. I haven't seen anything yet. Because as I suspected, the game started instantly with the cutscene, which was freaking epic, by the way. Freaking awesome cutscene. And uh, but yeah, just hoping for that. But let's go ahead and craft ourselves a sail. This is a pretty massive lake we have to cross here. All right, well, here we are. Take a swim. I'm really hoping, I'm really hoping there hasn't been an option so far to dive. I haven't seen. I'm pressing buttons right now, but I'm really hoping they added some kind of underwater exploration. I'm pretty sure there will be underground exploration. I mean, we had that whole opening section being underneath Hyrule Castle. So, I mean, there has to be some underground section. <laughs> We got in Isa Shrine. Oh, what's up? Let's go ahead and deal with this guy. No, don't do it! Let's head on into the shrine. I love the way these shrines uh, are interacted with too. It's not like the Sheikah, Sheik, Sheikah shrines where you go underground. This is so cool, man. It just opens up a way inside. It's so cool. All right, here we are. New shrine. We got for us. Ah, oh, so you've made it here. Now then, extend your right hand. Let's go, another power up. Oh, look at that. Oh, this must be the fuse. Please, please, please. Nice, there we go. Attach something to an equipped weapon or shield to enhance it. You can undo the fusion, but that will destroy whatever has been attached. Okay, okay, so if, if I'm understanding that, it won't destroy the weapon or the shield. It'll destroy the, the thing you're attaching, okay. Mm. This is the fuse ability. If it allows you to fuse something nearby to your weapon or shield, thereby enhancing it. Why not pick up that sword just ahead and then fuse a nearby object to it? Mm. Use Fuse and receive the blessing from this shrine. Alright, so this might be a combat shrine. Press and hold, and then we select. Okay, yeah. The ability to combine. Alright, so yeah, we got Fuse activated. Oh, nice. Alright. Oh, I see. Okay. So, interesting. So, we don't... Uh, let's just try Let's just try So, we can attach this Claymore... To our shield or a stick. Let's do our stick. Rusty Claymore. <laughs> Whoa, plus six. Yo, what the heck? And we can do it one-handed? What the heck? Look at that reach, man. Dude, this is so cool. Incredible. Oh my god. Hold on, can we... Can I drop... Oh, look at that. Alright, so yeah, that is... Interesting. Okay, so hold on. Let me drop. Let me let me drop one of these. Drop you. Fuse. Attach it to the claymore. Fuse is already being used on this. Okay. So what if we attach uh, this on the shield? Attach that. The shield. Plus three attack. Oh, I, so I guess if we parry, items fused to your equipment are detachable via your inventory. Okay. Cool, dude. That this is actually freaking insane. Holy crap. I, I didn't look into much about the fuse ability, but this is really, really cool. So we got... No way. Hold up, what? <laughs> Wait, what? Hold on. Can I... Oh, okay, it shrinks the boulder, but... 
<laughs> what the heck? This is so cool. Can I blow this open? Oh, I can. Nice. <laughs> and it looks like it increases our durability by a lot. You know, let's just go ahead and attach the rest of our sticks. We got thick stick. <laughs> yeah, boy. What else can we attach? Got another stick here. Let's see, can we attach stone X, maybe? Fuses are to be used on this. Oh, okay, I see. So this is a this is a, a stick fused with uh, some kind of stone stone fragment. I see, okay. So that's what the highlight was on this. Alright. And so it looks like the thick stick. Or we had a thick where to go, where to go? Oh yeah, here it is. Stone two-handed axe. Yeah, we had this, so this is already fused with the thick stick. But let's go ahead and attach uh, I guess this wooden stick. Dude, this is so cool! This is so cool! Oh my god! Alright, let's go ahead and keep moving. We got we got some new weapons. Uh we'll use uh we'll use our boulder hammer. Okay. Dude, holy wait, hold up. Do they have names for like everything? <laughs> Rusty Claymore stick? Well, I mean obviously they can't. They'll just be like combination names, but we got boulder hammer. Look at that. We got a chest here. Let's go and knock this thing down. Can we actually pick up uh the chest with that? Yeah, we can. Okay. Can I fuse? Hold on. Can I fuse you? I want to see. No, I can't. Okay. What are you? Rock. Oh, this must be how you make uh, the axes. Okay. Uh, I guess we'll... I don't see anything else. Oh, actually. Dude. You can literally fuse anything. Let's go. Let's go out and see this chest. I just... My mouth just dropped right there. Alright, so we got a bundle of arrows. This is actually such a fun mechanic. Already two two abilities. And these two are amazing. Alright, so we got oh what the heck are these? Fire fruit. A fruit that generates heat when struck. Cook correctly, its heating properties improve blood flow and stimulate muscles to raise attack power. Okay. In high temp in high temperatures. Okay, I see. Alright, so we got a bow here. Some arrows. Attach materials to arrows. Okay. So we keep the bow drawn. Uh, hold on. I, I completely already forgot everything. Alright, so we keep this out, right? And then maybe... Look at this dude. Uh, let's go ahead and drop... Let's see. Let's drop one of these fire fruits. I think this is what we need anyways to... Yeah, light that... The, the, uh, light the leaves, sorry. Stumbling a little. Alright, so maybe we keep the thing out. Oh, interesting. Oh crap, I, why didn't I pay attention to that? So, let me see. We have the bow out, right? How do we or fuse you to the- Oh, wait, 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 wait. Can we drop an arrow, maybe? Let's try dropping an arrow. Nope. Wait, I can't drop an arrow. Crap. Um. Much, much, much later. Why didn't I pay attention to that, man? Come on. Uh, I guess let me look it up real quick. All right, so just looked it up a little bit. So we have the bow equipped. Or actually, we bring this out, and then we can hold uh, up on the D-pad and select an item that will be compatible with the thing, maybe? Right? Please? <laughs> uh, maybe let's drop this. Hold on, wait. Oh, there we go. Okay, I see. We don't actually press L. Okay, we just hit up on the D-pad. I see, okay. That's how we do it. I, I'm, I apologize, guys. I'm sorry. So there we go. So we have an arrow now, or fire fruit arrow. Here we go. So that's how we craft, I guess, fire arrows. I mean, I guess we'll we'll get fire arrows, just, you know, the, tr the traditional arrows, but this is the, prim the primitive way to do it. All right, we got a small key. Key used in this shrine. But yeah, I, I completely didn't even know with the up on the D-pad, we can do this. I guess that would have been helpful showing the HUD. I should probably should have thought about that, but... Hey, it's all a part of learning. Listen, I'm all up for learning. This is what my this is what made Breath of the Wild such such an incredible game. It's just like learning on your own. And I hope I hope you guys don't mind me doing that. You know, I I honestly when I watched people playing Breath of the Wild, I kind of found it fun fun and funny watching them stumble or trying to figure out stuff on their own. And so I'm glad to see myself going through the same thing with this game. And it's honestly it's refreshing. This is so much fun trying to figure it out. 
go ahead and use this key. Let's see what's beyond this door. All right, so yeah, I know how to equip stuff to the bow now. Just equip it, and then we hit up on the D-pad. That's how it works. Oh, I didn't mean to equip one right now, but... Let me go ahead and equip our weapons that we had. <laughs> our variety of weapons. Very, very... Ex ex All right, looks like we're nearing the end here. Got some more stuff here. Whoa. Okay, that's a new construct. What the heck? Oh, they can fuse too. All right. The Arizona, Arizona I made. Dude, I love this combat music. All right, let's go. Oh. Dodge out of the way. Nice. All right. Go on, hit it with the uh, arrow. Nice. Let me actually uh, attach. Let's see. Let's attach this. Can Arizona charge to something? Let's see. Uh, I I don't know what it did, but we'll see. Oh wait, actually, hold on. Let's back up. Let's back up. Let's play smart. We see these leaves here. Let's burn them to burn them to ash. Come here, come here. Let's do this. Dude, move up. There we go. Should burn him? Yeah, there we go. Let's bring out our weapon. Perfect. Nice, we got him, we got him. Oh, it's a new it's a new bow. Captain construct horn, okay. Oh, okay, we get uh fuse attack power. So that gives us five plus to whatever our weapon would do. Zone I charge. And we get his rock hammer. <laughs> uh let's go ahead and grab his bow though. Construct bow, a bow used by a captain construct. Though simply built, it is made of fireproof materials and won't catch fire as wooden bows do. Alright. So, uh... I, I just blanked there. But... So, so... <laughs> what is going on? We <laughs> we fought that. Uh, captain Construct. And so that gives a, a whole new type of material and a new type of bow. And so, from that, we can also tell that they can fuse, uh, fuse stuff as well. Uh, what the heck? Oh, there's, we got a spear here. <laughs> long stick. Uh, we got wooden stick and long stick. What the heck is this, though? Spikes. Oh. Cool. All right. Um, let's go ahead and experiment. Let me drop. Uh, actually, we can drop from here, right? Yeah. Let's go ahead and drop that. Pick up long stick. And fuse with long stick. Gives us seven attack damage. I think one greater than the, the boulder hammer. Uh, oh, no, it's the same. But we'll keep this. We'll have a we'll have one spear type weapon. I should probably uh I don't want to use too much of my materials right now. I was considering trying uh attaching opal or amber and seeing maybe if those have because yeah, look at that. Like this amber is modeled differently from Breath of the Wild. It looks more pointy and you know deadly. It has four fuse attack power. And so I wanted to try putting this, the opal on the arrow. And see maybe if it had something with that water power it's talking about. But I didn't want to risk it right now. I kind of want to keep all my materials in case we need them later. But we did try attaching the Zonai charge. And that did have some kind of weird effect on uh, the, the captain. I had like this weird splash effect. But I like, uh, I like that new combat music. That sounded really nice. I don't know if you guys... Uh, well, obviously you heard it. What am I talking about? But I really, really... That's what I'm just trying to say. Really, really like that new music. And I don't know if that that's like a specific theme uh, for inside the shrines, or maybe that's specific to the constructs. We'll see. I'm just I'm sorry if I'm stumbling a lot. I'm just really excited. It's you guys. I hope you guys can understand. This is all really really exciting. I just can't hold my excitement in that much. This game is so good already. You have done well to reach this place. We offer this light that will cleanse you of evil. There we go, yeah, cleans off more of our, uh, more of the malice inside our arm. There's another light of blessing. Just one more shrine and one more blessing, and we should be able to open that door. May the light of blessing grant you the strength you seek. All 
Alright, that does it for this shrine. Link. I came because there is something I failed to give you. What is it? Please take it. Oh, whoa, what is that? Well, we've seen this in the trailers. Energy cell. A gift from a Zonai construct designed to be worn on a belt. It can power Zonai devices. Okay, so this is what this is. What I have just given you is an energy cell. It is required to make use of the tools known as Zonai devices. I cannot demonstrate its utility because there are no Zonai devices right here. However, I have, a, I have associates on the other side of that cave system. They can teach you how to use this. I hope that the energy cell I provided is useful to you. Alright, yeah, thank you. Okay, yeah, I remember uh, seeing this in the trailer, and a lot of people theorized that maybe this is where we collect the quote-unquote Tears of the Kingdom. Uh, I don't even know if that is a thing that you actually collect, but we'll see, we'll see. But uh, we'll definitely check out the other side of that cave system and complete the final shrine in the next episode. We'll call it here for this one. This, this Definitely, man, this game is already surpassing Breath of the Wild for me. In terms of mechanics, that right now, in terms of mechanics, there's just so much, even with just these two abilities, Ultra Hand and Fuse, they're already so much fun to use and play around with. I can see so many freaking, freaking options, so many options, the creativity, Sky, the sky is the limit, and I'm so excited to see what other people can come, can come up with as well. And so, yeah, in the next episode, we'll uh, see what this energy cell can do for us. And I'm assuming, just making a guess here, uh, is the, it can power those things like uh, the car Link was riding in one of those trailers. I'm assuming we can uh, power that and actually move with uh, these energy cells. And so, yeah, we'll complete the final shrine and hopefully uh, access the structure with our fully powered up arm and so that shrine is a ways away but we'll make it we'll make it in the next episode and i'm just i'm having a really great time with this game already it's just i'm all, i have a smile on my face every second of every second just playing this game and so with that out of the way thank you all so much for watching if you enjoyed this video be sure to leave a like and hey while you're at it why not subscribe for more videos just like this until next time i'll see you all in the next video.